All right, I know why you guys are here. For one, because you guys are trying to be putas tonight and you don't know how to do your makeup and you don't know what to wear and you don't know how to do your hair. Well, guess what? I'm gonna help you do the sickest makeup look. Okay, and, okay. I just say it's the sickest because it's literally my go-to makeup look. And a lot of you guys have been requesting for me to do my go-to Jenny69 makeup. Now, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I'm always, always, always wearing this makeup look. So I was like, you know what? Let me do a Noche to Putear makeup look because a lot of you guys you know need some help with your makeup and you guys want to do a look that looks sexy with every outfit you guys can dress this look up you can dress this look down you can wear this out to the movies when you're going to get some dick when you're trying to get some dick or you want to get free drinks or you want to get into the club for free don't worry i got you so this is the look that i created here and guess what bitch i've been drinking my beer so cheers to you guys before you guys start to watch this video this is going to be a long in-depth tutorial so please i recommend for you guys to try this look out i promise you guys are going to love it i always stick with browns and i always stick with earth earthy tones that are going to make me feel confident and that are going to make me feel sexy again if y'all are gonna go out partying and stuff please use uh please use birth control do not have sex with someone without a condom and please don't get pregnant y'all because senora life is fucking hard as fuck um but yeah grab your modelos kick back relax and let's get into this makeup tutorial okay to start i'm going to be using my chanel moisturizer this is a moisturizer uh recommended for dry skin so if you have oily skin just be careful with this but before when i was balling on a budget i would use ponds so ponds if y'all ball on a budget. So I'm gonna start off by drying off the brows a little bit because sometimes I notice when I put too much moisturizer, when well, my brows get greasy, so it fucks up everything. I'm gonna conceal my brows first. Okay, this is a concealer by NARS and it's in the color custard. I'm just gonna use this to outline my brows to conceal before I apply the brow gel. I usually take the longest when I do my brows because that's like your brows gotta be on point you know so I just conceal the brow and then I feather it downward and so you see how it kind of just like adds that shape you guys were so hyped when I announced that I was doing a Noche to Putear makeup tutorial I was like these bitches are gonna love this video because a lot of you guys have been wanting for me to do a tutorial on my um, Jenny 69 glam that I always wear so like this will be perfect for a night out you want to look better than everybody else you got to put in the work especially when it comes to makeup because I look like a fucking bird without makeup and my extensions aren't in but when I get a glam I'm a whole another person so I'm going in with this Anastasia 7B brow brush and i'm going in with dark brown pomade this is like my perfect color i really love this brush you guys should check it out i was always using the mac 266 but i feel like i've been using this one a little bit more because it's more precise application so i start doing like a line at the bottom because once you start like from the bottom and then work your way up, you'll be able to have a more of a gradient effect. I always use the back of my hand to warm up the product because it, it dries out sometimes. So whatever is kind of left over, I just drag inward to the brow like this. And also please make sure that your brows are plucked. You plucked your bigote, your shave. Because if you're going out with the guy tonight, you just never know. If y'all are going to be fucking. But you know, sometimes my friend will be like, dude, I'm just not going to shave because I'm not trying to fuck him tonight. So I'm just not going to shave because that's like the only way I'll be able to like not fuck him. And then whatever is left over, I just kind of like to fill in the brow. Using a little bit of product at a time is key to have sexy eyebrows. And then once I'm done filling the whole brow in, that's when I can go darker on the top. Because on the top is where you shape that shit. So I'm about to shape that shit. So this is a shape that I gave myself. Um, you guys see the really harsh line. So now I'm just going to go ahead and fill it in. So now I'm just going to comb out the brow a bit. So now I'm going in with that concealer that we originally concealed with.
I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out that concealer with this uh, I think this is this is a morphe e14 This is my favorite one to use to blend out the concealer for my brows My brows are done and once my brows are done I feel like I can breathe a little bit because now comes the fun part Which is the shadow like the shadow is not hard to do at all brows is the hard thing to do and also eyeliner That's the hardest thing to do after that Everything else is tedious, um, but other than that, it's a breeze. Moving on to my shadow base. The shadow base that I use all the time is Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. I've been using this shit for years. It's really nice for glammed out looks. I feel when I'm doing natural looks, I usually do concealer because I don't want it to look too thick, you know what I mean? Fuck, I've had this brush for years. Like I'm talking when Instagram wasn't even a thing. Like I was still with my ex at this time. I have a drawer full of Recuerdo palettes like because I keep all my old school makeup and I just have like a special place in my heart for that stuff just because like I don't know I feel like that was my start of my, the start of my career and I was like you know what I think I should make a video about all of my Recuerdo palettes because all of the makeup that I have I can literally pick up each makeup product and tell you a story about what what I was going through um, during that time who I was dating at that time I'm also going to put this on my lower lash line for this look, um, I only use, I want to say like four shadows. I don't know if you guys have seen me use them before, probably. Like you guys, I always end up doing the same look. Like, let's be real. So I'm going to go in with my chocolate palette to use that cream color. Oh, and then also I, I ordered a few products from the KKW makeup line. This one right here. And I'm going to be doing a review and a first impressions on that. So that should be fun. I think it should be coming this week because I ordered it last week. And this is a uh, makeup shack brush right here so what i'm doing is i'm just setting underneath the brow just so that way we set the concealer my two favorite shades to use like you guys when i die i'm gonna be wearing this makeup i promise you so this is my favorite gold eyeshadow and this one is one by morphe it's a really pretty gold it's more of like a white gold not that gold like copper and that warm tone i just don't like that i feel like this accentuates my eyes i put this on the inner corner as well as the lid and then my transition color that i'm obsessed with using when i do my noche to putear kind of glam is called uninterrupted by mac which is this one right here i promise you guys are going to love this shit oh we're just gonna shove that shit and i love this color because you can layer it like it has a yellow undertone to it so it matches that that uh gold perfectly we're gonna take that same color excuse me and we're just gonna pretty much stab it like that's literally my technique because i don't really have nice shaped eyes so i have to shape my eyes with the shadow like people don't recognize me like when i be hella glammed like people that like don't know me at all like nothing like they'll be like oh esa la hija de, de ruben ah esta bien bonita and then they'll see me next time with no glam like i'm talking no glam like i'm in sweats and they can't believe that <laughs> they can't believe that that's me though <laughs> Isn't that sad? Like y'all only nice to me when I'm arreglada. I think everybody can relate. And Emmanuel, like, cause I told Emmanuel, cause like yesterday, like I was so glam. He was like, you look sexy and all this stuff, like giving me kisses and no se que que. And I was just like, hold up, boo. Like you're only nice to me when I'm arreglada. And you know what he hits me with? He's like, you know what? He's like, you're only nice to me too when I get my hair cut. And I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna bite my tongue because like I didn't even realize that <laughs> He was like because you're making me feel bad I'm talking about like I'm only nice to you when when you're in glam This is a MAC 242S And we're just gonna I like to really get into that shadow Like scrape that shit with your brush And I just I love to pack it Like pack it I wonder if Morphe still has it on their site. All right, so I looked it up on the website and they do have it. It's six dollars. This is bomb. Yeah, six dollars. And then I do have a coupon code, so I don't know how much that takes off if you all use it. Oh, okay. I scrolled down, and people said 
Jenny69. Jenny69 raved about it, how much she loved it. <laughs> okay. Just after I applied the shadow, I just kind of used uh, the brush to just blend it out. You want to make sure you do these kinds of motions and you don't just go like this because if you go like this, all the shimmer shadow is going to get in your crease and you just don't want that to happen. So for my pencil liner, I tight line the top. You always want to make sure you do this because it makes your lashes look fuller. This is a brand new Wet n Wild Mega Liner. And I like dramatic liner, so I do one line at a time. I mean, one side at a time. That's literally a sneak peek of how difficult it is to do eyeliner. So if you guys are struggling with eyeliner, don't even trip. Like, I struggle with my liner every time I do my makeup. Like, it never gets easier. So I just grow bigger balls. That's all it is. I'm going to do my um smoked out liner at the bottom i always do this step because it gives you like a sexy uh look oh shit this is the next one sorry i'm going in with the maybelline one i like to use brown liners because black is too harsh for me and you know browns just like bring out the yellow in latinas so I'm just gonna like color in my eye like that. And you wanna use a pencil formula that's not waterproof and that blends out really nicely. I like to use this brown right here to put on top of um, the brown liner that I do. So I just pack it like that. I don't smudge because it's already blended out. So after I do that, I really like this eyeliner. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to go back in with... Like, damn, bitch, this is a lot of steps. Yeah, I know. But you want to get dig down, right? This is what you got to do. So I'm going back in with Uninterrupted and this um, shading brush right here. This is the one that we used in the crease. And I'm just going to go on top of that. Not right below it, but just on top of that. Just to kind of add a little gradient and this is going to give you that like you're going to be like this without even trying it's just like this for all the ugly bitches if you're ugly you got to do the smoky at the bottom trust me once you start doing the smoky people are going to be hitting on you at the liquor store at the lavanderia People are going to be opening the doors for you. I'm going to move on to the lashes. The glue that I'm using is by Duo. This is my favorite lash glue because it's dark. And when you do um, wing liner and your liner is dark, you just kind of want to keep that same darkness there. You guys know me. I live for lashes and I don't have time for half-assed lashes. I just don't. I like the ones that are wispy and like you look to the side and it's just like... <gasps> That's what I like. If the lash looks like, it's going to make you look sexy. Without these lashes, I wouldn't be able to get this look down. Like, when I got my lashes on, bitch, don't fucking text me. You wait for me to text you. My favorite primer at the moment is the Hangover by Too Faced. I used to use Smashbox Photo Finish. But oh, this one's like stickier and I feel like especially if you have oily skin or dry skin, you guys should totally use this one because I feel like the one school that feels like silicone, um, it just, my makeup slides off for some reason. So I'm going to go in with the um, Frankie Rose foundation. You guys already know that since I haven't been tanning, um, I've been mixing two colors. So I'm going to be going in with the foundation color bare so i'll do a few pumps of that and a few pumps of um olive this is happiness right here like if you guys are feeling sad all you gotta do is just do your makeup and trust me when you take your time to do your makeup it's totally different than just doing it 
like when you're rushing you know what i mean because if your makeup is popping your hair is gonna look cute and your outfit's gonna look fucking cute too i'm not saying you guys have to do this look all the time but this is more of like the weekend type of look and it is what it is just whenever you guys are gonna go out to a party or something just watch this video i'm gonna make this shit long so you guys who actually want to actually do the tutorial can just keep watching it and i promise you guys if you guys do every single step the way that i do it you're gonna be a whole new person and you want to make sure that you really really blend it into the skin it takes time to really get that nice layer and go also on the sides of your nose this is the bare minerals bare skin concealer in the color light most people always use tart shape tape it's cute but i don't know i feel like it dries me out bare minerals isn't a full coverage concealer so if you guys are looking for full coverage possibly this concealer won't be the one for you but if you're using a full coverage foundation you're gonna love the bare minerals concealer because your foundation already should do the coverage the concealer is just kind of for highlighting i'm gonna go in with my contour and this is just like the perfect mousse textured bronzer i like to go in with this one and then what i do is um go back in with powder because like after you go in with powder it's just gonna like layer it you know and this my shit this my shit this my shit if you guys don't have this you guys need to buy it it's the 14 karat um face glimmer by Girlactic, and i always apply this before i set my foundation because i'm a type of person that like if i apply highlight i see no mask like on top of my powder i look like a dorito and this helps to already create a highlight underneath your skin so it looks like wow you're naturally pretty but it's just a cream so ahorita no se ve because I haven't set it with powder so after you set it it just looks so pretty so I put it on my lip anywhere that I'm gonna highlight I like to put it going in with my Chanel translucent powder in the color Claire 20 they do have darker shades you guys and my sister swears by this powder too I don't fuck with the Laura Mercier I don't fuck with that shit So I don't bake for a long time, I just kind of like, because I have dry skin. So I just kind of do it to absorb all of the oils and stuff from my, from my foundation, my concealer, all the highlight. And if you guys feel like you look powdery, don't even trip. I have a setting spray that is the best setting spray in the market. This is my favorite contouring brush. This is the Morphe M438. And the reason why is because this brush feels really, really nice. So nice. So this is the Hula bronzer. And I'm just going to kind of go in a bit. Nothing crazy. Usually after I'm done baking, my brows kind of get lost with all the powder. So I just use that same brush that I used to do the brows. And I just kind of go back in. You guys can go back in with the pomade just to like fix it up and we're going in with this color right here which is the same one that we've been going into and we're just gonna blend out underneath and we're just gonna prep it to start doing our lower lash line mascara and this is just gonna this is so pretty you guys and you know what i feel like it's my contacts that's making the look so cute i have a specific brush that i like to use um, it's this one by Morphe. We're gonna go in with that same gold. It's the Morphe M506 It's a tiny little blending brush and we're gonna use that same gold. We're gonna pop that shit on the inner corner Because it's just gonna give you like an exotic ass look instead of going in with like a Like a lighter champagne color if you use gold it just 
I don't know, there's something about the gold. Y'all see that? So now I'm gonna do my bottom lash mascara. I'm going in with the um, Better Than Sex mascara. I like to use this mascara when I'm doing really, really crazy looks like this. I'm gonna use a little bit of this blush. A little bit, please. A little bit. Cause y'all be y'all be getting too cute with the blush. The blush is supposed to make you look like not like <laughs> girl. So we're just you know a little bit. And I like to do the blush before I apply the um uh setting spray. Because after you apply the setting spray, anything sticks to your face a lot. And this is a shimmery blush by MAC. Shimmery blushes, like if you guys are going to wear shimmery blushes, like I would recommend shimmery over anything else because um, with the shimmery, you can kind of like blend it out a little bit more. I'm just going to use this Tatcha setting spray. If you have oily skin, I wouldn't recommend this. But if you have dry skin, I would recommend this. And they say that this isn't a setting spray to set your makeup. I just like to use it because it just like melts the product into my skin. So it does make me dewy. Oh shit. This is my favorite highlighting brush. This is the MAC 240S. And it just puts on highlights so, so pretty. This reminds me of the one, the brush that I used to contour. It's almost like the same type of material of uh, bristles because it just blends everything like a cream. Like it works well with the product. It gives you like a skin-like finish. And like I said, you guys know that I applied the Grolactic Glimmer. So once you apply the Grolactic Glimmer and once you apply the regular highlight, you don't have to apply too much highlight yet. Like yes, it's the very really nice. So I recommend to do that step. Because if you have textured skin, this is what's going to save you from still being able to apply highlight but not look like, you know, crusty. So I always like to put a shitload of highlighter here, Mina. Because this gives you that, like, pout. We're just going to add this right here. A little down the nose. And we're pretty much good to go. Oh my god, I'm so happy I'm done. I'm going to go in with Italia because it's that type of night. So I'm going to use... Um, fuck, I need a sharpener. Always make sure your lip liner is nice and sharpened. This is in the color Coco. The lipstick that I'm going to be going in with is the, again, Desi and Katie. We're going to use more creamer. I really love this one. It's so pretty. I'm going to go over the uh, lip liner too because it is a little bit dark. So if you do this, it blends in the brown so it's not so brown. I'm going to apply a little bit of Honey Love on top of that too. Honey Love makes it makes your lips look more alive rather than it being a little bit too brown because I'm looking a little bit wrong. Uh, just kind of do it like in the center. And now to top it off, of course you guys know that I'm I live for the Mac Dazzle Glass in the color Moth to Flame. There is no other lip gloss out there like it, and it's thick as fuck. And you just glob it on. Like, that's what you gotta do. You just glob it on, on the center. I like this one because it's really sticky. I know a lot of people don't like sticky glosses. But for pictures, for Instagram, for noches of being putas, it's bomb. So pretty. And that is the completed look. I'm gonna like comb my hair really quick so that way I can look cute for you. I always do this finger method where you put your finger inside your mouth and then um, you just take off the excess because it's a shitload of makeup. 
this is the completed makeup look i'm just gonna go ahead and get in closer so you guys can take a good look at this look honestly you guys whenever you see me in my selfies on instagram and i look like super bronzed it's most likely because i am wearing this look a huge thank you for everybody who sat down and actually watched the full tutorial. This look is going to help you guys out so much, I promise you, with your self-esteem, um, when you're out in public. And I also wanted to know if you guys liked that I actually listed the product detail in the video. Let me know because that was something new that I recently decided to do. Other than that, I will see you guys all in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Why are you drinking beer? Because it's for the noche to putear. <laughs>